हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर पवन जगन्नाथ तांबड़े वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन केमिस्ट्री एट एम बी समाज नाशिक इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल बी टॉकिंग ऑन करियर ऑप्शंस आफ्टर परजूइंग बी एस सी इन केमिस्ट्री आई विल बी ट्राइंग टू कवर सर्टन अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड ऑप्शन इन डिफरेंट फील्ड आफ्टर कम्पलीशन ऑफ बी एस सी इन केमिस्ट्री इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर वीडियो बिफोर स्टार्ट ऑफ एक्चुअल टेक्निकल सेशन लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ This is my brief introduction. I have completed my B.Sc. and M.Sc. from Amravati University, Amravati. Then I moved to uh, I.C.T. Mumbai, that is U.D. City, and I completed my Ph.D. in Catalysis from there. After completion of my Ph.D., I went to Bangalore and I work as a senior research scientist in Tata Group of Companies, that is Advanced Therapeutics Private Limited, for two years. After that, I joined. teaching field in 2012 and since then i am working as assistant professor in chemistry at mbb samaj affiliated different colleges in nashik district now let us start with our technical session that is which are the different career options after bsc in chemistry so if you look at this slide you can find that after completion of bsc in chemistry you can have some options like you can go for higher education like msc or msc in phd you can go for some jobs you can opt for public service commission examination you can do mba or you can choose some teaching field after uh, bsc or some higher education now one by one we will see all these option so if after completion of bsc you want to do msc or msc phd which are the different options you can go for msc in chemistry in different subjects which are available across the country for example msc in organic chemistry inorganic chemistry physical analytical biochemistry then green chemistry and nano science apart from this there are some applied chemistry subjects in which you can pursue your msc for example textile chemistry polymer chemistry dye stuff chemistry material chemistry and bioanalytical chemistry these options are available in uh, technical colleges or technical institutions Now in TYBSC you can decide that I want to do chemistry in this particular subject. At the same time you need to decide from which place I should do my MSc because there are number of options from where you can do your masters in chemistry. So let us have a look on which are the different possible options we are having for doing masters in chemistry. So there are many options to pursue MSc in chemistry. So for example you can do MSc in chemistry from some affiliated colleges. autonomous institutions universities there are some reputed universities like banaras hindu university pune university mumbai university kolhapur university then bamu university aurangabad and many more are there you can go for iits there are total 23 iits in india from where you can pursue your msc in chemistry there are uh, iisers which are established in 2006 in india there are seven such iisers in india and you can opt for msc in chemistry from a very reputed either kind of institutions apart from this there are some other reputed institutes like iisc bangalore icit mumbai nits tifr jnu jncasr and many more now in your tybsc or sybsc itself you must have your eye on these institutions and you must know which are the different options to get admitted in such institutions for msc in chemistry many of these institutes offer msc in chemistry after cracking Uh, entrance examination so for example iit jam is conducted for admission at iits and iisers it is also useful to get admitted in nits and therein you can do either msc in chemistry or integrated ms phd courses some institutions like tifr iisc bangalore jncsr jnu ism uh, pune university and many other universities they are having their own entrance examination to do msc in chemistry or they also offer integrated ms phd courses now in this slide uh, i am showing very reputed institution why there is a need to do msc from reputed institution is it really matter if you do msc from a uh, simple college or some reputed institution so let us have a look at what are the advantages of doing msc chemistry from reputed institution if you do msc chemistry from reputed institutions then there are some uh, advantages like you will get a brand value you will get world class infrastructure in those institutions there is a stress on application part of science rather than simple book chemistry there is a collaboration 
of those institution with real industries and thus there is a uh, scope for uh, learning from industry as well you you will get optimistic atmosphere if you complete your uh, masters or phd from such reputed institution you will be having better job opportunities and obviously there is a high level of social recognition if you do msc from such institute now after completion of bsc chemistry if i don't want to do uh, higher studies which are the different options yes one can go for jobs and one can go for either private jobs or government job in case of private job either uh, you can go for uh, some industry job or you can start your own coaching classes there are many industries across india who offer jobs to uh, bsc chemistry graduate for example uh, there are number of pharma companies chemical companies paint polymer textile companies who offer job to bsc chemistry students but the salary component after bsc chemistry is very very low and that is why many uh, students they want to do uh, msc or phd after their graduation so that they can get uh, some luxurious jobs there are certain options in government sector as well uh, after cracking some examination you can become forensic uh, science expert you can get job as a food inspector you can get job in electricity production department for example in maharashtra we are having mahajenko where Uh, bsc chemistry are required for the analysis of regular chemicals which are used in electricity product you can also get accommodated in some uh, government companies like hpcl bpcl iocl and some reputed institutions like uh, barc iit after completion of bsc in chem we can also have uh, job options in uh, public service commissions like uh, state psc and upsc for example in maharashtra we are having npsc so you can get some job role through these examinations as well after your graduation you can get uh, position as a food and drug inspector you can get some position in forensic department qa in qa or qc that is quality analysis or quality control officer in government lab you can get a job in oil and gas industries pollution control boards fire and safety officers in different government officials lab technician or lab assistant in government medical colleges patent officer in some region of our country and yes obviously you can go for normal mpsc upsc trains for example banking staff selection commission railway recruitment board and uh, forest department etc after completion of bsc chemistry there is one more option which you can opt you can go for mba So, what is the benefit of doing MBA after BSc Chemistry? So, if you go for job after BSc Chemistry, you may get uh, some technical job or lab job in some industries. However, if you complete MBA after BSc, you may get some managerial role in the same industry. So, that makes a difference. Now, there are different subjects in which you can do MBA after completion of BSc Chemistry. In which subject you must do your MBA? so these are some options which where uh, you can do your mba after graduation in chemistry you must go for uh, mba with business administration or process management production management industrial management or import export management insurance and risk management environment management or quality analysis management if you do mba in any of this sector along with bsc chemistry you definitely will get some managerial role in chemical pharmaceutical polymer or textile kind of industries so the next possible option is in the field of teaching yes you can get teaching job at different levels of your education if after your bsc you completed bed then you get teaching job in higher school however after completion of bsc if you completed msc uh, msc and then bed then you may get job as teacher at junior college level after completion of msc if you qualified net or set examination or if you pursued phd from some college or institutions you get an opportunity to work as senior college teacher or assistant professor at senior colleges however if you completed phd and postdoc then there are sir there are many options where 
uh, you can get a teaching job or you may get recruited as a scientist in a reputed institution across our country so these are many teaching options which you can avail at different level of your uh, education level after psc ba after msc ba after msc and net set or phd and obviously after completion of phd and postdoc i hope you enjoyed this video lecture and you will definitely able to find out some better uh, job option or career option for your future all the best for your future endeavors thank you